Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the Fabulous Forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle 4 won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number 5, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger with his brand new Extra Scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. 
Fantastic! Everyone looks shiny and clean. Now you're all washed and clean, you can get a good night's sleep before getting muddy all over again tomorrow. Hello everyone! Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us, so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go Mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it's scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snow plough. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring, summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye. Here comes Trevor the tractor. He's always so busy down on the farm. Plow, plow the fields all day, move those crops and bales of hay. And when your work's all done, it's time to have some fun. Through the wind and rain and snow, there's work to do, you have to go. And when your work's all done, it's time to have some fun. Let me introduce you to my mighty friend called Trevor. He 
works hard down on the farm He's also very clever Farmer George's work is hard So Trevor is there for him To move and shift those heavy loads How did he manage before him? Plough, plough the fields all day Move those crops and bales of hay And when your work's all done It's time to have some fun Through the wind and rain and snow There's work to do, you have to go And when your work's all done when springtime comes, he'll plough the fields and scatter seeds all day long. In summer, Trevor sprays those crops to help them grow big and strong. When summer turns to autumn time, the crops are there to harvest. It's Trevor's job to cut them down so you can have your breakfast. Key change! Plough, plough the fields all day. everyone! I'm down at the construction site today to see if any of my construction friends need my help. Eric digs the rocks and soil from the ground and loads it into the dump bed on the back of Dylan. Eric the excavator and Dylan the dump truck make the perfect team. Eric, what's wrong? I think I know what the problem is. Eric's bored of doing the same job, day in and day out. Eric, would you like to try something different for a change? Let's get you to the garage and see what we can do. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Eric turn. Eric's come to the garage feeling sad because he wants to try other jobs so bad. Let's take a look at Eric's tools and see if we can change the rules. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with Eric's parts. He just wants to try something different. Luckily, excavators are designed to change the tool on the end of their arm. This is the boom, and this is the arm. At the moment, Eric's got a bucket attached. This is perfect for digging. Florence, Florence, come in, Florence. Please could you find the new excavator attachments and meet me and Eric at the construction site. Go on, Mechanicals. Let's see what's in crate number one. It's an impact hammer. This tool is perfect for breaking bits of rock into smaller pieces. Have a good day at work, Eric. The impact hammer breaks big rocks and makes them really small. But just look at Eric. He doesn't seem keen at all. Oh, I see the problem that the impact hammer makes. It vibrates around so much. Poor Eric has the shakes. Oh dear, Eric. It sounds like the impact hammer wasn't quite the right tool for you. Eric found that tool too shaky. Let's try something else. Let's see what's in crate number two. It's a grabber. This tool is perfect for picking up large objects, like logs. Time to try the grabber. 
Let's pick up all those trunks. Just listen to the noise it makes. All whirs and clicks and clunks. The problem with the grabber is Eric has to watch the weight. Otherwise he'll topple over and... Uh-oh, it's too late. Hmm, it doesn't sound like the grabber was quite right for you either, Eric. It was too heavy. Let's see what's in crate number three. It's a rock saw. This powerful tool is very sharp and spins really, really fast. It cuts through rock. Eric powers up the rock saw and it chews rock without a stutter. Just look at it cut them up like a hot knife through butter. But the noise is far too loud and sparks are flying everywhere. Poor Eric looks so upset. It's given him quite a scare. That wasn't right either, was it, Eric? That tool was too scary. Mechanicals, what's in that last box? It's a bale spiker. This tool is perfect for helping Trevor the tractor down on the farm. It spikes, lifts and moves hay bales. The bale spiker is much quieter. It's simple, but it's clever. Just the thing for Eric to help on the farm with Trevor. But now the hay is blowing about in the warm summer breeze. Poor Eric must be allergic to hay. Look, it's made him sneeze. Oh dear, Eric. We haven't had much luck with these new attachments. But let me think. I reckon I've got the perfect tool just for you. It's your old reliable bucket. The perfect tool for you to work with your best friend, Dylan. Good old Eric. Sometimes you don't know what you've got until it's gone. I'm really pleased that Eric finally realised he really loves his job. Thanks very much for helping out. And thanks to you for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Round and round and up and down Eric likes to dig The rocks and rubble from the ground Underneath the twigs There's no trouble loading and He's filling up the lorry These rocks will make a new road now He's dug them from the quarry Eric the excavator And digging is his job That's really very clever The boom can reach out front and back And dig in any weather It's time for Eric to hide away To let the blast begin Then lots of empty dumpers come Now you can watch him spin Eric the excavator And digging is his job To dig a hole so deep They're strong and do the job so well Even when it's deep Eric the excavator And digging is his job He's an excavator It's time to load this rock Eric the excavator And digging is his job Hello team! I'm waiting for Rebecca the recycling truck. She says she's got a problem sorting her recycling. Here comes Rebecca now. 
She looks unhappy. I wonder how we can help her. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Hello, Rebecca. Let's take a look and see what we can do for you today. You've got cans, bottles, paper, plastic and food waste all jumbled up. What a mess. Everything should be sorted into different piles, but it looks like your crew keep forgetting what to put where. How many bins do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Your recycling is all a jumble, but really, there's no need to grumble. Let's put some signs up here and there to help your crew learn what goes where. One, metal. Two, glass. Three, paper. Four, plastic. Five, food waste. One, two, three, four, five. There, that's much better. Thanks to those labels, your crew will know where everything goes. Bye bye, Rebecca. So glad we could help. Recycling is very important because it looks after our planet that we all live on. Well done, Rebecca. Keep up the good work. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. I wonder who will need our help next time. Bye! Rebecca does such a great job at recycling, I decided to write a song about her. Rebecca recycles, she helps us every day. Turning old into brand new from the things we throw away. She drives around the town, working all day long to help us save the planet so we can get along. Rebecca recycles plastic, metal, glass, paper. Rebecca recycles plastic, metal, glass, paper. She sorts out. Danny the Diggers dug out a big trench in the soil to build a new road. Here's Dylan the dump truck. He's dropping off a load of stones and rubble to put on top of the soil to make the road strong. Dylan, please can you dump the rubble there so that Danny can scoop it into the trench. Dylan's a very helpful vehicle on the construction site. Now that he's helped Danny the digger, he can now take away all these old broken blocks that Ryan has smashed down. Mia, 
Can you help to lift the blocks onto Dylan's dump bed, please? Dylan's a very strong vehicle, so he can carry a lot of heavy things around. Dylan has two hydraulic pistons, which push his dump bed up into the air, so that he can quickly dump his load onto the ground. Just like that. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Something's gone wrong and Dylan can't lower his dump bed again. Dylan, you better come to Gecko's garage right away. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. I hope Dylan can get under the door frame with his dump bed stuck like that. Hello Dylan, you made it through okay. Drive onto the platform so that we can take a good look at you. This is Dylan's dump bed where he carries heavy loads. And these are his hydraulic pistons which are super powerful. They push the end of the dump bed up into the air so that the load can slide out quickly. Hmm, those pistons look damaged. They won't let the dump bed come down again. I'll get the mechanicals to swap them for new ones. Go, go mechanicals! Oh dear! If the mechanicals remove the broken pistons, then the dump bed will fall down and squash them flat. What can we do? I know! This looks like a job for Super Mechanical! Go, go Super Mechanical! Poor old Dylan the dump truck. No wonder he's wearing a frown. He can't bring his friends the things they need when his dump bed won't go down. Super Mechanical holds him steady while the others make him good as new. And now they've swapped his pistons. Let's see what he can do. Dylan's loaded up with tarmac. We repaired him and he's thrilled. He's driving to see Danny. There's a road they have to build. Danny's finished the base layer of the road and now they just need to add the tarmac. Dylan, can you slowly pour the tarmac out please? Brilliant! Your hydraulics are working perfectly now. That's looking good. I think it's time for our other friends to help out. Here comes Rick the road roller to roll the road flat. Great work, Rick. Now the road is flattened, it just needs its lines painting. And look, here comes Sid the skid loader. He has a line painting attachment. What a nice straight line he's painting. Well done, Sid. That looks brilliant. Now the road's finished, we need someone to test it out. Here comes Bobby the bus. He's very big. If the road can take his weight, then it must be really strong. Looking good. Great job, everyone. Bobby's heading off to Gecko's garage to help Helen the helicopter. Oh yeah! Eric and Dylan are 
two best mates. They work all day from morning till late, loading up the rubble. The heavyweights, no trouble. 